back, 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 back in the gym with Campbell Fitness. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. You are watching my deadlift day from November 6th on the Cube, which is a rep day. So after I warmed up, I jumped into three working sets of eight reps each at 410 pounds. Now, today called for, again, three sets of anywhere between eight to 12 reps using 65 to 70% of your projected one rep max. Now I based this off of 575 pounds as that was the last thing I pulled at the last meet I did. Now I decided to stick towards the lower end of reps today only because as you probably noticed, I'm still not using a belt and I haven't for several weeks. I'm really trying to work on that core strength. Not to mention, I just did a couple of pulls after a ton of squats on Sunday. So this is only two days later. I had two off days and then jumped right back into it. Now I'm showing you a couple different angles on this and I do this because I also want to check out my form and I can thankfully say that I think it's getting a little bit better. My hips aren't shooting up as much. I'm starting with them much higher and this has really made my pulls more smooth, at least in my opinion. However, on this there is still a lot of stuff to fix and the next thing that I'm going to start to try to address is my back positioning because one of the things that I've noticed as I start with my hips higher is that my upper back has a little bit of a tendency to round some. Now this isn't anything that's causing me pain or discomfort, but ideally in order to get the best pull, it's something I'm going to want to fix. I think I'm gonna have to focus a lot on hamstrings on this so that way I can keep my butt down yet not to the point where my hips are gonna be shooting up too early. So this gives me a lot of stuff to work with. So hopefully you guys like some of this and hear some of my commentary about what I'm trying to fix and can apply it to yourself. Or you can just look at what I'm doing and say, God damn, that's some nasty form and I don't ever wanna do that. So you can just do the opposite of what I do. But as I said, I did three sets here of 410 pounds. It felt pretty good. This was done early in the morning on an empty stomach. I'm also looking pretty skinny these days. And yes, I am cutting, I am dropping some weight. That's Mark's plan for me. He wants to drop down before slowly reversing back up. So as of this day, I weighed 217 pounds and none of which is in my calves. So after those three working sets, I moved on to some block pulls. You can't really see from this angle, but there are some bumper plates beneath. They're about four inches in height. And for this, I also wanted to do a sumo style lift because I'd like to alternate these two just to get some different feels going on for all you brothers out there that like feels. So I followed this up with two sets of these. So block pulls, two sets of 10 reps each. And the weight I'm using here is 320 pounds. And it would be a lot easier if I didn't have to count those little clips on the end, but they do weigh two and a half pounds each. Just so you know, that's why you're getting these awkward weights. So I only filmed one set of this because honestly it looked almost identical in this case, but I'm really trying to focus and tell myself to push my glutes through. I then followed that up with an additional two sets of snatch grip deadlift. So I'm not going all the way out to the collars, but I'm slowly working there. This really tests your grip and this also really lets you push your hips through. So I love this as an assistance exercise. If you guys haven't done it before, definitely do it but just do like I do and go a little bit lighter at first. So I did two sets of this of 12 reps each using 230 pounds. For a lot of this assistance work, I typically go a little bit higher rep range and I drop the weight slightly just because it's working on these inconsistencies and I'm trying to develop better movement patterns. But hey, that's just me, fellas. Do what you will. So after those two sets, I moved on to the glute ham raise and I'm glad my gym has one of these things, but it's still awkward as hell for me. And Honestly, I'm not even sure if I'm doing this right. All I'm trying to do is I'm going down and I'm trying to make sure that I pull through my glutes. Typically in the past with this, I'd focus more on my upper back and bringing that up. I am solely focusing here on squeezing through with my glutes and my hams. Now, I don't know about you guys either, but when I do this personally, I don't know if I just forget to breathe or if I'm coming up too fast, but I get really lightheaded after this movement and I have to take my own little personal time out of 10 to 15 seconds because some cases I feel like I'm gonna black out. So if you guys have advice for me on this, I'd be all ears to hear it. So after I did a couple of sets of that, just doing 10 reps each on this, I moved on to some lat pull downs. just wanted to get some lat work in. For this again, not going overly heavy. I'm only using 150 pounds here. I'm using a close grip ones. I feel I can really get a better contraction in my lats when I do this. And I did three to four sets of 15 reps each. Again, keeping the weight static. And that's gonna do it for my workout today. I hope you guys like this as stated earlier. I know I like filming myself because it gives me a ton of things to critique, some of which in jest, some of which is for serious. But as always, everybody, in the meantime, thanks for watching and stay big.